Hi there, it's Lori Dake again with Kel Realty, your magical Illinois licensed broker. And today I'm going to show you how to carve a jack-o'-lantern and turn it into a potpourri warmer and make your home smell like a PSL. <gasps> Stick around and find out how. Okay, and we are back. So, as you can see, I took a picture of all the stuff I used to prepare it. Now, besides the pumpkin, a scrap bowl, a few things to carve with, I'm not an expert pumpkin carver, I will admit that. But, you guys who are experts, you have fun with it. But, uh, what I do know is my herbs and spices. <laughs> but all this stuff that I have pictured here, don't worry about it. Go to the store. There's a thing called pumpkin spice. It really is just that called pumpkin spice. It's already mixed up for you. The only thing you're going to add to that is probably, in my case, I would add a little bit more cinnamon. You'll want to have some cloves on the side. And then you're going to want to add some vanilla extract. I'm going to show you how to do it the long way, but you don't have to. <laughs> to me, it's just fun. Now, obviously, the third, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to clean our pumpkin. I mean, it grew in the dirt. It's kind of gross, right? Then we're going to actually want to carve the top and the bottom off. Now, the top part we're going to space, pay special attention to. Uh, we're going to want the inside to be clean and flat, all right? And then we're going to save that. Now, when we carve off the bottom, just make sure that we're carving it even, just a plain old circle, and we're going to put that into the scrap bowl. We don't need that. The next part is we're going to need to start gutting the inside of the pumpkin. Um, notice that I'm using a uh, serving fork just to get it in there, uh, spoons, things like that. Start using your hands after a while. The trick is you want to get not only all the stringy stuff off, but you actually want to scrape off part of the pumpkin inside too, the, you know, the part that you would cook and eat. Um, but you want to get all of the goopy stuff off. No more slime. <laughs> That's an easy way to put it. Uh, and then you're going to want to rinse it. So take it over to the sink. Notice I got the table already prepared for a mess. But the next step is, is you're going to want to run a lemon, some lemon juice all around the parts that you carved. That's going to keep it from rotting on you. I mean, I know rotting pumpkins are kind of cool looking, but in this case, we want it in our home, not outside. So we want to keep it as nice and as long as possible. So after we get all that, then we're going to carve the face. Again, I know I'm not the most artistic when it comes to carving. I'm more of the paper type. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you guys who are fancy pants, that's great, man. It'll look great in your home. Uh, but what we're really going to focus on is actually making the potpourri. Let's get to that. Okay, now this is the second part here. This is what I consider the fun stuff, where I get to whip out my mortar and pestle and start grinding stuff down, okay? So obviously some of the seasonings I have are actually already ground, like the ground ginger. Um, but other things here, uh, like the cinnamon stick and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these things in here and I'm gonna start grinding it down. What you wanna do, is you hold on to it with the one hand and you're gonna first you can mash it down just bam 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 but then you're gonna want to start grinding it in grind and you're doing this in a clockwise motion and then you're gonna be turning the bowl grind turn grind turn 
and that away you're scraping along the sides and you're getting everything ground down as well as you can and making it into a powder okay again you can skip this part and just go buy some pumpkin pie spice i feel this is a little more fun for me <laughs> so i got a million herbs and spices and other things and then what you want to do is remember you save the top of your pumpkin now you're going to need to score it have you ever done a ham in the oven and you put the cloves in same thing so you're going to score it and you're going to stab the cloves in anywhere where you got an intersection okay then with your mixture which i'm sure you've already added a little bit of water to it to make it into a a, a thick you know a, a thick paste and then you maybe watered it down a little bit more and thinned it out with um, you know just a regular you know barbecue brush like I did and then you're gonna want to paint the entire inside and let it sit in there for a little bit okay um, and then you're going to take your pumpkin put it on top of a plate with a candle in there that's why the bottom is empty Anyone who has ever done a jack-o'-lantern before is normally putting that candle in there and it's a pain in the butt and, oh, I'm going to burn my hand. You do it this way, it's so much easier. No fuss, no muss. Then putting the top on is the tricky part because I always carve it into a star, so you got to get it in just right like a puzzle. <laughs> it takes a minute, but you'll get it. But that way, I do it this way on top because it makes it more form-fitting especially as a few days go and then the pumpkin decomposes a little bit even with the lemon juice it's still going to do that so that's why I have it with the uh, little pow star pattern on top but then you can just light the candle through its mouth but if you have to light the candle first well it comes up and down off of the plate easy peasy right let and what you're doing with the candle is it's cooking the top and you're getting that wonderful smell in your home. You're going to love it. Your family will too. And check out what it looks like after it's all done. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I hope y'all have a wonderful Halloween and hey, um, please be safe. Uh, if they're doing a trick or treating in your area, I mean, you know, Hey, everyone's wearing a mask, right? <laughs> um, don't forget to stop by my house. Our family, we do full size candy bars, whether it's through a, a, a tube or yeeting the treat as they say, or however we're going to figure things out. All right. But we go to Costco. 30 pack of the good stuff like the snicker bars 15.99 by our house so hopefully it's the same price by you <laughs> i hope you all have a wonderful safe and uh, meaningful halloween <laughs>